Hey guys, welcome back to Closet Raid. I chopped my hair. It's been like the best decision ever. I really, really like it. Um, it's kind of clipped up, but I wear it um, like with a deep part like that, like throwing it to the side and kind of like straightening this out. I can wear it like curled a little bit, like waves. Like I can actually style it so many different ways, but I, okay, before we get into this video, I'm gonna insert some vlog clips of this transformation. So I am about to get my nails done for the first time since March, which is insane. I wanna do my eyebrows today, maybe do my hair. This was my first time at this specific salon and everyone was so sweet. I was obsessed with my nails and be sure to follow Vicky. I am really passionate about nail art and she's one of the most amazing nail artists that I've ever been to. It was actually so emotional for me getting everything done. I got my nails done, I got my brows done, I got my hair done after so long, like a year of not doing anything basically. And those were like routine parts of my maintenance of like what I used to do on a regular basis. So, that was really wonderful being able to feel safe and like go get all of that stuff done let's get into this mystery box situation i'm really excited about these if you're new to my channel i'm jasmine i'm a wardrobe stylist i live in la i created this thing to be able to style you guys my subscribers and make it really extremely affordable. So every single month on Depop at the first of the month, so November 1st, I will be dropping a mystery box. And what that is, is three outfits for $45, which is like ridiculously low. But because I do it at such a low cost, I only drop 10 boxes per month. I know that's little, maybe I'll do like 15 or 20 this time. It's a lot of work that goes into it and Every single box is well thought out. So in my last vlog about the mystery box Depop situation that I've been doing, I went about the process a lot more. So definitely check that video out. But this time around, I wanted to show you just reacting to my subscribers trying on their pieces from the boxes they ordered. So we're going to get into those clips right now. Hi, Jasmine. Thank you so much for styling me. Um, this is the first look that you sent me. Originally, I did not think I was going to like it because I'm not a huge fan of camo or like pink really, but I actually love it. I think it suits me and I just paired it with my Air Force Ones and then um, just to show you the back, it's like open and I'm not really sure where I'd wear this, maybe like shopping or something. Okay, this is but so I cute on you. This is more of like an edgy insta body moment with like the pink camo, the black skirt, the Air Force Ones. Like, you look stunning and radiant and this was more risky. This isn't your typical go-to look, but I love that. I love being able to send people things that they would never pick for themselves and like go out of their comfort zone and have fun with it. And it's really inexpensive. That gives us room to kind of play around and do that. I think it's really fun. Um, I consider that such a win. Let's look at her next look. So it's starting to get cold where I live, so I thought that putting on a leather jacket with it would be perfect, and I just thought I would show it, and I think it works really well. Okay, this honeycomb print high-waisted like pencil skirt is so chic, and then we kind of sassed it up with the bralette a little bit. She has a chunky boot on, like I recommended in her note. So what I do is if you order a mystery box from me, I will type out all of your looks in a note to you and give you like tips on how to style them because obviously for $45, I'm not sending you guys full outfits with shoes and accessories and everything you need to put the look together. It's like three outfits and then you guys get my styling service because I recommend in the notes like exactly how to wear it, different occasions to wear it to, just things like that. But she threw on this leather jacket, so cute. The booties, everything, it just came together. It's so good. It looks so good on you. Okay, let's watch her last look. So this is the third and final look. Um, I paired this dress with these red heels that I have that actually match it perfectly. And I threw my hair up in a ponytail because I thought it was like cuter with it. 
Um, it is a little bit big on me in the waist, but if I got it altered and maybe like hemmed a little bit because it's just a little long for me, um, I think I would like it a lot more. But I really do think it's cute and it's not something I would normally pick out for myself. So thank you again so much for styling me. I love everything you got me. So this red dress is so chic, so classy. I love that for her box, I sent her the red dress, the sophisticated but yet fun skirt and crop top moment, and then the Insta baddie look. So we have three wildly different looks. I love versatility, I love playing around. I love being able to send multiple different looks, different styles, different vibes. It's really, really fun. I want to touch on the fact that she said it was a little bit big for her. I definitely think she could get this tailored or she could wear it loose, honestly. I like kind of die that she has the, the perfect color kitten heel. It's like, looks like it's made for the dress. But anyway, if she wanted this to be more like modern and like young, she could shorten it, take it in. It's like actually a beautiful vintage dress that I thrifted for her. But I wanted to touch on sizing because even if you guys send me your sizing, it's kind of hard. So I'm not gonna lie, sometimes not every single item works out perfectly. I'm not gonna pretend that there's not like mishaps. So I just do this for fun with you guys. But in this instance, I feel like all three looks were perfection. Hey, Jasmine, I just got your box and I had a bunch of meetings, so it was really hard to wait uh, to open it, but I am thrilled to try everything on now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. All right, so this is the first look that you picked out for me. This is the American Eagle jeans and the band tee. Um, I feel like this is a very like essential look that everyone has, but I don't. Um, I put on a little lacy bralette just for a little like juxtaposition um, and I could see myself tying this um, or just doing like a little tuck. What I am thrilled about though is these jeans are so comfy, so stretchy. I have been finding jean shopping to be really really difficult lately so I am thrilled with this and I should probably go make sure that I actually listen to Guns N' Roses so if someone says something to me about it, I actually know some of the songs. I have this one Slayer t-shirt from H&M. It's like a black Slayer t-shirt with red. I wore that for years and never listened to like metal music ever and if anyone ever said in anything to me, I was always like, this is for the fashion. Same with like my Bulls crew neck sweater that I like used to live in. I wore that thing to death. I still wear it, but I never watch sports, but you don't understand how much of a conversation started that piece was. Like anywhere I went, usually a guy would be like, basketball, like they would start talking to me and I was like, yeah, I don't, it's fashion. Anyway, this looks fantastic. The fit is unreal, these jeans flatter you so perfectly. American Eagle really knows what they're doing with denim. So if any of you guys are looking to purchase jeans, we are entering into the fall winter months. And if you're looking for denim, 10 out of 10, I personally can recommend American Eagle because I work with them closely and I've pulled samples in multiple sizes. So I know that they work well. This is a very, like she said, very classic look. I love that she didn't already have something like this in her wardrobe because now she has this staple this wardrobe essential that she can run to when she wants to be really classic band tee and fitted skinny jean it looks so cute i can see this with boots and a jacket for winter she just looks so good like she's glowing the black booty one thousand percent a thousand percent the black booty i like the red flat love the red flat not crazy about the white high tops obsessed with the red flat and of course the booty with like a leather jacket thrown over would be everything. I love the lacy sexy bralette, like peeking through, so cute. Oh my gosh, at this jumpsuit okay, on her. so I did not expect to love this. This is the most like out of my comfort zone. Like I don't wear gorgeous tube tops, but wow, this is comfortable. And I feel hot, honestly. Um, I was thinking about shoes again, and I saw that you had suggested um, a stiletto or pumps um, with a clutch and a red lip, which sounds amazing. Sneakers are cute with this jumpsuit because it's very casual. Love it with a denim jacket. I also grabbed a jean jacket, which is probably mostly how it would work because... She looks so cute. 
What a babe. She's literally the sweetest. All right, this is this is the outfit that I was like, wow, this is so me that I don't even understand how I don't already. What an icon. Own it. I have pockets. I I can see myself wearing this actually with like a um, a black long sleeve turtleneck underneath as well to really take it into the colder you guys here in Philly. My subscribers um, are everything. I'd try your suggestion of some black boots. Okay, this olive jumpsuit was out of the box. Wasn't sure how she was gonna react. I love it. So all three of her looks were so fun. I kind of didn't go girly with her um, box for some reason. I don't remember what she wrote to me in the description, but when she did write to me, like I really felt these looks were like the looks and they turned out so good, all three of them. I'm so happy. I love this. I love you. Like when I watch clips, Instagram stories, like anything from you guys opening up the box and like being excited about it. I can't even believe it. Like, I know that sounds so dramatic, but like just the fact that I'm able to like inspire you guys to put looks together or go out of your comfort zone. Like that's so huge to me and that makes me so, so, so happy. I can't even express or put it into words. Like it genuinely makes me emotional because I've said this in the past, but I get just as excited as styling my subscribers, anyone who's excited about fashion. It's not just like celebrities and, and people who, you know, models in magazines or red carpet looks. Like I'm so excited. I get just as excited when you guys are literally just in your room trying these looks on and we like killed it together. Like it's a collaborative thing. You send me your sizes and your info and like your vibe. Some of you guys send me Pinterest boards. Like it's just really, really fun to be able to get to do this. So this is really special to me. Jasmine, I just got my box like an hour ago and this is literally my favorite. It is crazy. Um, I would, if I was thrifting or if I saw this, I would not buy this just because I wouldn't think it would look right, but I love it. <laughs> so thanks, girl. Um, but the pants that you gave me, they don't fit. I'm a little bit too brown. I um, love this so thanks, star top by Express on you. You look so, like, I feel like it embodies your personality. Prints are a very special thing, and I'm obsessed with stars. Um, but look at I'm wearing this print today. Like I don't wear just any print like it has to speak to me So I can tell the shirt matches your personality. It's fun. It's bubbly. It's cute You look so gorgeous in red. It's just bold red is such a confident color I just think that if you have an interview if you're meeting someone new if you want to just make an impression wear a red shirt a red Blazer like a red jumpsuit. It's very empowering Okay, see, this is a perfect example of things not fitting perfectly, and that does kill me. Like, I do hate when I get the messages that are like, oh, like, it didn't actually fit, or it was too short, or it didn't work out. Um, this skirt was, like, a half a size too small, um, but the bodysuit worked out well. So some of the pieces work and some don't. I think this color, again, looks so stunning. I love a scoop neck because it's very flattering. I'm wearing one right now. Um, this just is so cute. You look so cute. So with this box, I went with like an early 2000s skater girl theme. Like we did the striped flannel and the jeans with like the chucks. Like I love a good converse moment and that's so cute. And then like the kind of sexy sporty dress with like the little lines down the side that give a beautiful shape and figure. And it gives it that sporty element like the flannel tied around that gives it an extra like skater kind of touch to it. And then the last look being like cropped comfy graphic tee with the most adorable jeans. You can see in the video how great these jeans are. They're so good. These are also American Eagle. I think they're American Eagle or Lucky Brand. Those are my two go-tos. Lucky Brand, American Eagle. Thank you so much for my box. I loved it so much. It was so fun. I would totally do it again anytime. I love your channel. I have all the notifications on. I watch every video you post. And when I saw the mystery box, I was like, I gotta do that. That's so cool. Um, but yeah, 
I love everything you're doing. Thank you so much. Bye. She's so sweet. That makes me so happy. Okay, what the heck? How am I so lucky to have the sweetest subscribers ever? Like, I feel like people always say that, but I couldn't be happier. That was so much fun. I loved being able to share that with you guys. If you're still watching, comment down below, what is your favorite luxury designer brand? I think in this next drop that I'm gonna do on Depop on November 1st, I'm going to do 20 boxes for sale and one out of the 20 boxes is gonna have a luxury item. So one lucky winner will have like, I don't know, comment in the comments. Which designer would you be most excited to see as a surprise? Would it be like Prada? Would it be Gucci? Would it be Fendi? Would it, what would it what would be like the oh my gosh moment? Comment down below because I'm gonna pick something to include in one person's mystery box that is luxury. Because why not? Let's have fun with it. I'm gonna keep having fun with these boxes. I also want to say thank you, and you don't have to purchase the box to support me or like to show your support to me. Um, just watching my videos, commenting, subscribing, like all of that means so much. I know it's a really rough time right now. This year has been really crazy. So, so I just wanted to throw that out there. I just want to say thank you guys so much for the continued support. Just for following my fashion journey here on YouTube and like social media. If you guys follow me anywhere else on Twitter or Instagram or whatever. And also I wanted to add this is not open for women only. So if you happen to be a guy watching this, I do sell the mystery boxes in either male or female or if you're just fluid and you are more androgynous and you don't care you know, you can leave that in the notes when you purchase the box. Some guys DM'd me on Instagram and they're like, oh, like, is this for guys? So definitely, I know most of my viewers are ladies, but if you happen to want menswear, just leave it in the notes and we will do that. I got a lot of questions asking, like, do you do plus size? Do you do, you know, yes. The answer is yes. Whatever we will make a mystery box tailored to you specifically. So whatever your details may be just leave them in the notes when you buy the box with that being said thank you guys for watching there will be another episode of wardrobe takeover coming very very soon i promise i just had an insanely hectic month thank god with you know everything being so slow for a long time it just feels like the biggest blessing to be able to be busy and working and like styling and creating and yeah thank you and if you want to continue supporting me just click the video and keep watching my closet raid videos bye guys